Hey, 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 hey. Do I sound like Christina Aguilera? I always wanted to sound like Christina Aguilera when I was a kid. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I'm sure everybody knows, Ellen DeGeneres is actually finally going to get an internal investigation by Warner Media. Ugh, it's about freaking time. Now, I'm sure everyone's known for years the rumors about Ellen DeGeneres secretly being a bitch. Now, I don't think Ellen DeGeneres was always this way. I remember watching her in high school and actually being fond of the whole situation. But I can honestly tell you in the last, like, eight years, I've not given a shit about Ellen. Um, If you look at her old stand-up comedy, she was really funny. I think that she had a genuine start. But she's been going on air for a long time now. Um, I do think that she really paved the way for the LGBTQ community, especially as um, such a dominating, um, non-gender conforming woman in the spotlight. I think that she definitely um, deserves, you know, she, she did her time. She did her, her groundwork, but I mean, hello, it's pretty obvious that she is done. We're done with her. She's out. She's been nothing but rude the last couple years. So another really exciting thing I want to shoot for one. Okay. For one, I'm a huge true crime enthusiast. I love true crime stories. Everyone in my life who doesn't gets really annoyed when I tell them about it. Just a little murder mystery and mayhem over our meal. Yeah, nobody wants to talk to me about it sometimes. So (laughs) I have something really exciting though. One of the longest, or not one of, the oldest Jane Doe unsolved case has finally been closed put a stamp on it, 52-year-old Jane Doe murder mystery was actually Anita Pateau, 26-year-old from Maine, discovered in Orange County, California in 1968. She had been raped, murdered, and severely beaten. She had um, her throat slashed as well and was left out in the woods. Three boys found her, As far as identifying things, this was in 1968, so technology was way off back then. We didn't have anywhere near the resources we have now. They did actively investigate um, it as a cold case every so often and would go back around and continue investigating. It did turn out that she was killed by a man by the name of Johnny. Johnny, let me double check that name, uh, Crisco. Now, he was not a suspect at the time. And he since did pass away before ever being brought um, upon charges. He passed away in 2015 from cancer at the age of 71. So karma does come back around. Now, Anita had sent her family a postcard from California telling them about her time in Hollywood and how she'd return home in May to Maine. Um, It was just you know, right shy of her return home that she was discovered deceased. Now, the family did not know that, though. She, they could never identify her, so she was marked as a Jane Doe and buried in Orange County for decades. It wasn't until they tried genealogy, or let's double check that. It wasn't until they tried a tech, yeah, genetic genealogy, which is what they used and how they um, identified the Golden State Killer. So this was the genealogy, genetic genealogy is what they used, and now she's been returned home, which is so amazing. And the family was overwhelmed by her return because they had just kind of assumed that people had gave up looking for her and that they were never really going to get the answers to their questions. So anyway, it is of big relief to say that she's been returned home to her family. She was 26 at the time. And um, unfortunately, there were signs that Johnny Crisco was not all there. He had just um, been dismissed from the army after serving a couple years for a psych evaluation, deeming him to be too easy to anger, reckless. Um, He was basically just not a well put together person. He had a lot of emotional issues. And it actually says in here that he was very immature and impulsive in that psychological report. So, Anyway, I'm so glad that this was close. This just goes to show you that, you know, just keep on, keep on hunting, keep on looking, keep up hope for people. 
Have a great day, guys. It's going to be raining here, so I think I'm just going to, I say I think, I'm going to be cleaning. I have so much to clean. And then tonight, my girl Bailey's coming over for us to record our podcast. We can't wait to release it soon. So exciting. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.